please, people, do not write on your compedes and then leave it here. That's wrong. Last night, everybody's up and about. It's about quarter to nine in the morning. But I just thought I'd show you the bed situation. So you get a couple of lockers next to each bed, and then you get the bunks, and then underneath the bunks, you get your own individual light and a charger, and a little thing to put your mobile phone and personal belongings. And it's divided up by walls, this one, which is really nice. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Day three. Three. Um, we used to sleep last night, Louise. Mm. <laughs> the alberga was really nice though, wasn't it? Really nice alberga. It was just, it was a dormitory sleep, so. Yeah. There was some snoring. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think we were the main cause of the snoring. Um, Probably, yeah. It was fine. It was a really nice alberga. Lovely. And we're heading towards C. C -E -E. We get to the coast today, so that's exciting. Yeah, and it's about 21k. Yeah, bit of a short day. And, and lots of coffees. We've already had two coffees so far. Can you tell? And it's about nine o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Yeah, we're a bit late. Well, it's never like the Camino Francis, where we just <laughs> got up at six o'clock and started walking. I know, but it is gorgeous today. We we're expecting 27 degrees today. Are we? Centigrade. Yeah, 27 degrees centigrade. Oh so. gosh. Okay. And it's uh, no nice clear skies although you can't see it behind us at the moment but if you might be able to see just up here somewhere was the hill that we climbed down yesterday mm. anyway let's go it takes us so long to get places I like taking pictures follow us on instagram don't plug no ew Alberga, and I thought I'd share with you the prices. So the alberghe last night, you look at around between, I don't know, 10 and 15 euro per night. It's pretty much the same as uh, when you were on the Camino Francis on the other side of Santiago. So it's about the same price. Um, dinner's around the same price as well, pilgrim menus. 10 euros for two course, 12 euros for three course. And you get a bottle of wine in that and a bottle of water. Uh, just depending on how many in a group. However, what we would say to you is definitely, if there's more than a couple of you, go and have a look at the prices on Airbnb. It's well worth it because you can cook your own dinner. Not that we are tonight, we're going out tonight because it's Sunday and we fancy a night out. Um, you cook your own dinner. More than likely, they've got a washing machine and tumble dryer in there. So you save yourself around 10 euros washing and drying your clothes um, and this one that we're in tonight is dirt cheap this airbnb so actually it's more cost effective so it keeps the prices down anyway just thought i'd share that with you Okay, 
that was our last stop for what we believe to be 12.2 kilometers. Although the sign says 15 kilometers, but we're not too sure what to believe. However, we are a little anxious around surviving this long without a cafe. Aren't we, Louise? A little. <laughs> I have promised pasta and bread and red wine on our arrival at sea. Hi. So this is supposed to be some of the most beautiful scenery for the whole of the Camino de Santiago. <sighs> this 12 kilometers. So says John. Even more beautiful than the Meseta. Even more beautiful than the Meseta. <laughs> Wowza. <laughs> now you've been pointing at it at me for uncomfortably long. If I point at you long enough, you just keep talking. <laughs> That's my crocodile. <laughs> oh my god. Part two of Louise's animal impressions. Yeah, for the editing floor. A decision to be made. So we go left to Finisterre, or we go right to Muxia. Finisterre is 29.6, Muxia is 26.5. So we are going left. We really hope that mm. the viewers can see this, don't we, Meg? Mm. Because just behind us, here, is the sea. Oh. Yeah, so yeah. All the way from Santiago. Mm. Impressive, eh? It's quite interesting, John Briley's book for this section is that it's the most beautiful section on the Camino and you're walking through a eucalyptus forest and pine forest and you can really smell it. It's so strong especially on a day like today. So it's obviously been a bit damp and then the sun has come out. But if you turn around and see all of that you can see why John Briley pointed out this most beautiful part. Where do you think we are, Meg? So, it's over here. I would say over here or Where are we going to go to? Somewhere there. It was 14 minutes in the car. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I know. Did you get a car? A la taxi. So I love the fact that they've got a book here which you can leave your little notes around while you're here, stored in there. However, please, people, do not write on your compedes and then leave it here. That's wrong. Tell me one thing that you're grateful for. Well, right now. Yep. I'm grateful that I can be here walking it and that I'm not 10 foot below, unable to. Imagine people doing this walk after doing uh, St. John to Santiago. I suppose really enjoying the peace and quiet because as you can see 
there's just no pilgrims around us. So I think if we've seen, I don't know, 20 today, I think that's on the top end. And it's really peaceful. However, I can imagine though your feet and your calf muscles really aching. So this little section is around 12.2K um, without anything. So it's just beautiful woodland. The scenery is stunning. You can just see the sea out in the distance. So yes, we can see the coast. And the coast isn't that far away from us. Which means only one thing. That John Briley's comment with a little hazard sign, or as we like to call them, expletives. Look at that steep hill. Oh. May not look a lot on the camera, but trust us, in it may, it's steep. Ah. Very steep. So, I'm gonna pop you away while I try and navigate down this hill. After a long day, I deserve this one. Yeah, Luke. Hola. Cheers. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. End of day three. And we are very sore. Yeah, we well, some of us are sore. Yeah. <laughs> my legs are aching, my feet are aching. Tell us, about it, as well. Tell us about it. Long day. Hard day. Beautiful day though. Gorgeous weather. Delicious, gorgeous. Heads the like burn, which you might not be able to see, but we've burnt ourselves a little bit today because it's unexpectedly <laughs> hot and sunny. You have, Louise. <laughs> last, um, yeah, okay, I have. The last hill, downhill, was pretty tough. It was pretty steep, more than expected, but we're here, we're in sea, and we've only got about 12 to 15 kilometres left depending on if we go all the way to the lighthouse or not tomorrow. Finisterre. Finisterre tomorrow. So we're in Airbnb tonight, um, which is really pretty, really nice actually. Yeah, so nice, very, um, very nice, very cheap and very well located in sea. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to wrap up now. See us Time tomorrow for, for day four. It's a shorter day tomorrow. Yes. Um, but we get to Finisterre. So if you want to have a look to see what Finisterre looks like. Yes. Join us on tomorrow's episode. Absolutely. And make sure that you subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> Somewhere. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Bye bye.